What is good, YouTube world? Happy New Year. We're up in here in 2022. It's coffee. Tapping in just to chop it with y'all on these different topics, some news and all that good stuff. Y'all know how we do over here. So make sure to join the discussion in the comments. Hit them buttons. No delays. Jumping right off into it. Lil Wayne seems to have himself a bit of a predicament with this security guard. This is sounding real funny style. I don't know, man. I can't call it. I want to know what y'all think. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, it hit the news that this security guard had alleged that Lil Wayne like pulled the strap on him, hit, hit pissed gun butted him. I was going to say pistol whip, but I guess you know what I'm saying? It's an assault rifle. So I guess he was like gun budget and done dutta. Y'all remember when Hov said that on that track? I think it was off the uh, DMX Flesh of My Flesh album. But anyways, this is sounding real funny style. Uh, reportedly, Lil Wayne pressed this security guard. And everyone, man, you got to have good security. Like, this security guard sounds like a half-ass con artist, in my opinion. Like, he's trying to get a bag off Wheezy. He wants that lawsuit money. And it's wild, man, because security is key with these rappers and celebrities, especially the rappers. This is a dangerous job being a rapper, you know, and you got to be able to trust the security. So reportedly, the security guard said Wheezy pressed him over. Um, Wheezy said, yo, man, you're taking pics of me and leaking them to the media. And listen, we know that kind of stuff happens all the time. TMZ and all these other um, news platforms, um, they get tips and stuff like that you always a source says this a source says that you know so he claimed wheezy pulled that thing on him gun butted him like i said uh and and when he called the police wayne was gone you know what i mean and, and they took the report or whatever but they didn't press any charges well now it's back in the news it sounds like the security guard's trying to make a whole issue of it um, he's pushing to press charges. He's talking about he's coming with that civil suit. And listen, y'all already know if there is a civil suit behind um, an assault or something like that. If there is a criminal case that one is convicted of, the civil suit is almost like default, like it's going to go through. You know what I mean? That's why a real quick side conversation with the whole 40 Glock game beef uh, that we've been talking about over on my secondary channel. You know that that's an old issue back in like 2011 that's being discussed again. You know, whether 40 Glock was a snitch or not, he didn't come with uh, charges criminally. Had he did that, you know, he, he would have walked away with that money real easy. But anyways, uh, the security guards pushing on for it. You see it's hitting the news everywhere. Wheezy may be in trouble. I don't know. Uh, you know, reportedly, it sounds like a shaky case because he didn't have any marks on him or anything like that, you know, to substantiate his claims that Wayne got physical with him. But uh, whoever this security guard is, like his identity obviously isn't coming out in the media. But I hope all the uh, rappers and people in the entertainment world know exactly who this guy is to stay the fuck away from him. And, um, you know, you, you don't want to book this guy, have him protecting you. You know what I mean? He's trying to take pictures of you and figure out how he can get a couple bucks out of you. That's that's bad business, you know, so tap in let me know what y'all think about that uh wheezy's got a new mixtape coming uh this month is the word i can't wait for that man 2022 man it's gonna be a lit year moving on to the situation with a b this ish is crazy we were talking about this on the live stream last night thanks everyone for tuning in uh you know it was a lot of fun go catch it on a replay jay millie you know who's been tapping in with coffee for the longest time we had a nice uh discussion on the jack um and you know for anyone whoever wants to tune into these and call in like that's what it's all about we coffee talk it up you know but with a b y'all this is seeming real funny style okay he storms off the field he strips down you know what i mean takes off his shirt and all that blowing kisses at the crowd like what's really good with you a b you know we've seen tom brady say man we care about him like tom brady's got a lot of love for a b you know he brought him along to the patriots he brought him along to tampa you know what i mean um a b's career looked like it was done but he jumped back in and got that ring but now all this goes down. And if you ask me, OK, this is a shout out again to those who tuned into the live stream. A couple of the viewers were like coffee. He dropped some music and you see it on his Twitter. What's it called? Uh, Pit, not the palace. 
he just so happens to storm off the field and do all this and then he's dropping music it seems like a, pu a pub publicity stunt to try to get some momentum behind him so people will tap into his music and i think that's wild corny if you ask me like keeping it real i think ab's music has all been buns straight garbage like ab it's not you, man. You're not that dude. You're not you're not a rapper, bro. And listen, we know in hip hop, you don't necessarily have to be a good rapper to be a successful rapper. But um, I don't know. A.B. just I think he needs to leave the music alone. But comment and let me know what you guys think. Like, do you think that's what this all was? I mean, come on. How is all, this all going to go down? And then he just happens to drop some new music. It, 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 it's no coincidence. You know what I'm saying? And um, the coach also was saying Bruce Arians, as we know, it's been a shaky situation with him. Like he's he's been trying to let everyone know he's the coach. But it's almost like Brady's a coach. That's a whole nother story we've been talking about. He, But he said um, he was trying to get A.B. to go in the game. A.B. saying his ankle still messed up as he didn't practice uh, Thursday or Friday. He had just been injured and missed a few games a, a few weeks back. Um, I don't know. He's like, hey, I was trying to get him in the game. He didn't want to go in the game. I've never seen anything like this, but uh, he's no longer a Buccaneer. So if you ask me, A.B.'s trying to line up what's going to be his next big source of revenue after football and um this is the way he went about doing like i don't know man i don't know it's crazy when it comes to to ab so comment and let me know what you guys think man y'all think it was just a publicity stunt for the music do you think that uh he needs some mental health help what, what do y'all think let's discuss it all below oh and real quick too did you guys see that tweet there David Spade cracking jokes talking about yo AB's in my front yard but Terrell Owens mad as hell someone said who's the bigger diva AB or T.O. I'll tell you this when T.O. came to my bills for that season and we were not in a good place then you know he, he minded his P's and Q's no controversies no big blow-ups in the locker room or nothing like that the only thing he was saying is yo Fitz is better than Trent Edwards Congratulations on your Golden Globe Thank nomination. You very much. That's so cool. Um, I have to say, Snoop announcing it was my favorite part. I want you to see it unless you missed it. <laughs> that, was, that was nice, yeah. Being a flick. Being Affleck. My fault. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ben. <laughs> he got the emphasis a little off. It was a little. He did get the emphasis a little off. Yeah, it's funny because <clears throat> I always grew up and I thought like Affleck, what an incredibly ugly name. Now it sounds like the duck commercial. And Affleck. 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 Yes, yes, I know. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, You're the first person to say it. <laughs> and I, I... All right, y'all. I found that to be funny. Um, that was uh, Ben Ben Affleck. If you hear, if you if you let Snoop tell it, he said. Ben Affleck. <laughs> uh, that was Ben Affleck on the Kelly uh, Clarkson show. And I guess uh, that was Snoop when he announced his name during the Golden Globe Awards or whatever the hell it was. He called him Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Ben. Like, kind of like the Affleck duck. I don't know, man. But uh, Snoop was like, yo, my bad, Ben. But uh, yo, y'all seen Ben? I, I, I've been seeing him back around with uh, J-Lo again. I guess they're reviving that old thing. I don't know. It was something corny to do. At one point, it seemed like taking care of yourself and eating right was corny. You know what I mean? Until, like, you know, days change as you get older, and then the times change to where taking care of yourself became popular. You know, you know what I mean? mean? Yeah, it, that's, a, that's a highly question that we get asked a lot. Me and myself, my brother, Styles, you know, we got the juice bar juices for life. Um, when we do a lot of interviews and media, people ask, like, you guys made it seem you guys made it cool, made it cool to yeah. be healthy. And I think healthy is gangster. You know, yeah. everybody want to be tough guys and this and that and rich. If you're not healthy, you can't be alive to spend your money. Spend the money. You know what I mean? You can't go party. You're not you healthy. You can't that. enjoy the party. You can't enjoy the perks of life. You won't be here to, to see your kids graduate, to see them score their first touchdown, to see things like that. So no doubt. healthy is more important than anything so you know all right y'all so that was um jada kiss having a convo him and little c's um they did this episode of this this facebook show the poll up uh with this gentleman Has hassan yasin 
And, um, you know, they're talking about working out, staying healthy. Uh, there's this company, Bartenders. You see, they hit the bars. They do the pull-ups. They do all those kale aesthetics, the medicine balls, all that good stuff, man. And uh, Jada Kiss just heavily, I mean, the, the locks as a whole has been really on it. But Jada, you know, when Lil C's talking there about how health is gangster, you know, fuck all that being a tough guy, all that extra ish. Health is number one. Um, you know, because if you ain't healthy, you can't enjoy the fruits of your labor. You can't enjoy your life, your family. It, it's, it's not going to be good, you know. So 2022 just hitting, you know, um, I know a lot of people might have them New Year's resolutions out there and whatnot. But, um, you know, comment and let me know if if, uh, you know, getting healthier and, and working out is something you're trying to do and stick to in 2022. I know coffee myself. I, I got to get it like. I, like I got to get it together. You know, I, I, I want to stick to a workout program. You know what I mean? But I think it's dope that uh, Jada and the locks have been promoting, you know, with the juice bars and all this stuff that they're doing. Like, that's good stuff, man. You know, the, there's a lot of negativity that gets spoke about um, in the hip hop world and stuff like that. But there's a lot of positive um, stuff going on as well. That good messages being pushed out there, you know, like. Obviously, that doesn't really make it in the media and the news, but coffee's going to talk about it. You heard. But that'll conclude this video, guys. A.B., what's going on? You know, it's like, is it a, is it the music? Is he trying to pump that music career? Like, stop it, A.B. Like, come on, man. You ain't that too, man. Uh, Jada Kiss, health is wealth. T.O. getting mad at being compared to A.B. in his diva antics. Um Lil Wayne in the security situation, Ben Aflac, 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 um, and all that. Let's talk about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to sub to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Daily content dropping. It's J Coffee Talk, music, news, sports, current events, life, and much, much more. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.